so welcome back everyone and uh, in the last video we discussed about uh, the concepts of the hydrography and now we are moving forward in this particular section of the hydrography so before uh, beginning with the new topics i would like to brief you about the concepts discussed that uh, what is hydrography what are the various horizontal and the vertical controls covered in hydrography what do we understand by the term shoreline survey and why is it done then we have a few uh, snapshots of the remote sensing work done for the shoreline survey then the various methods of locating the sounding in three categories and there are further sub categories we discussed about the methods of locating the sounding then what are the various ratios chosen for considering this sounding method then what are the uh, images line images showing the various advancements in the field of sounding have been discussed and the lastly instrument which were used for the sounding purpose or the sounding method were discussed so now we are beginning with the eco sounding what is eco sounding whatever is the distance we are finding out in terms of hydrography we have to multiply it half the times uh, because uh, what happens the total time taken by the waves or the light to emit and strike the object and return back will actually comprise of a dual distance the time taken by the light waves to move to that particular object and then coming back to the receiver or the board from where we are doing this survey work so uh, we have to just take half of the time over that portion so d will be given by 0.5 times uh, 0.5 into whatever the time has been consumed and then we will multiply it with the speed of the particular light which we have emitted in the water so uh, in approximation you can take the speed as nearly 1500 meters per second or you can say 1.5 kilometers per second is the average speed which we are considering so the different factors which are considered for actually uh, calculating this sound speed are temperature conditions pressure and the salinity condition so whatever is the speed of this uh, uh, sound is actually depending on these three prescribed conditions so if the temperature will be less then the speed of the sound will be less but if the temperature will increase the density of the water molecules will obviously decrease and hence the speed will increase similarly with salinity the uh, uh, salt content of the water body is increased then the particles of the sound or the light are deflected more and hence the speed get reduced so these are the conditions in the eco sounding now how this uh, uh, terminology of reduction of sounding is uh, arrived so the reduced sounding is nothing but finding out the reduced levels of the submarine surfaces in terms of the adopted datum so datum is nothing but a, a preliminary base data which we consider for finding out uh, the mean height is above or below so we need a base uh, data which is called as the datum data so the datum is uh, actually for finding out the reduced levels mm -hmm. and uh, the correction equal to the difference of the level so we have two different levels that is the actual water level gauge reading and the datum that is mlw we consider as mean uh, low water level and mean lower low water level so they are applied to the observed soundings and with respect to that particular datum we find out whether the level is lower or higher side then uh, we have two more terminologies that is hydrography and cartography so now cartography is actually the production of the maps and the charts with the help of the survey work which we have performed and completed to the maximum extent so after completing these survey works we need to prepare some charts or the maps and that are uh, coming under the category of the cartography it is a science a branch of the surveying and obviously nautical charts are prepared for the proper projection of the navigations and the various instrument we utilize for preparing these nautical charts are three arm protector air spring divider spacing divider proportional dividers meter bars map measures and beam compass so at least uh, the names of these instrument should be clear that uh, for preparing the maps or the charts whatever things we are using are known to us in terms of their technical names so these are the names which are highlighted in front of you now what is a nautical chart it is a type of a hydrographical map uh, which gives us the uh, informations that are highlighted over here 
the datum used means what is the base level of the water surface we are considering. That information is given by the nautical chart. Then we have high, mean, and lower water lines, which are determined in terms of this nautical chart. We have the uh, uh, arrangements required for the sounding. Uh, so the nautical chart will give us the depth uh, where we need to consider on this particular section of the water body. We need to consider uh, the foundation part of our infrastructures. So the conventional symbols which are used here are also of much importance because in terms of water bodies, we have various conventional symbols which we consider and uh, we uh, use those symbols in terms of preparing the nautical charts. So various types of safety devices are also actually prepared and uh, various safety devices also include the lighthouse through which uh, the safety purposes of the water boundaries are considered. So we should have a complete border information in terms of this nautical chart for every state or the country which is on the coastal area, nearby the coastal area. We need to have the proper information that what is our boundary beyond which we should not exceed our limits. And no other country person or the materials can come inside our boundary uh, without any uh, prior information or the permissions. So for the complete border information, also we need the nautical charts. Uh, and with the help of that only, we are considering this particular uh, 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 specific use of this uh, hydrographical maps. Uh, we have already uh, read these type of news that uh, the particular uh, uh, the particular cause of conflict between any two countries is due to the routes they follow to the waterways and they try to enter the boundaries of the other countries. So the nautical charts are henceforth prepared to highlight that which particular portion of the uh, water body is under uh, the capture or the limits of a particular state or a country. So the nautical chart will actually brief us about the conditions uh, of uh, the line of equal interpolation uh, with the help of the sounding method that up to what particular conditions we are considering this uh, water body as ours. And uh, to that extent only we can do all the type of work for either uh, taking out the crude oils from that water bodies or whether it is the construction of the infrastructural projects like the harbor and docks. Now, what are harbor and docks? Uh, these are the structures which are prepared for the loading and unloading from the large ships and uh, which are carrying actually man material or various other emergency things from one particular section of the country to any other portion of the other country. So in order to prepare those, uh, in order to prepare those uh, harbor and docks, we need to have a detailed uh, hydrographical map with us that uh, in which particular section of that coastal area will be providing the place to those uh, large ships and boats so that they can easily, uh, so that they can very easily uh, either load down the material in the ships or the material which they have brought from any other country can be easily uh, unloaded from that particular ship. So obviously the mean and high tides are very important. Uh, they play a very important role because in the case of tsunami also, we have seen that uh, the infrastructures which are constructed near the coastal areas up to two and three uh, story height, they're easily destroyed by the high tides. So in that case, it is very much necessary to know uh, the distance required from the coastal area for constructing these type of uh, either dams, I would say, the bridges or the particular sections of the harbor and docks. So that is uh, being given the prime consideration. And uh, the other essentials which are important in this hydrography are the instrument, which is called sextant, and it is used to measure the angle between the two visible objects. Say, for example, from a particular boat, we are visualizing two different objects, then the angle made between these two objects from our particular center point. Or you can say from our boat to these two different objects is measured with the help of an instrument, which is called sextant. The boat sheet or the hydrographical sheet, uh, which is required uh, for doing this hydrographical work, and obviously, uh, the last uh, term which I am uh, bringing to you is the wire drag. So it is a device which detects the obstructions actually, like the boulders or the ice sheets which are uh, available in the water bodies. 
and if we are doing the survival then we should have a clear vision that the boat should not strike the ship should not strike with these type of large boulders or the ice sheets these type of obstructions can also be plotted in this hydrographical map or the navigational charts we have prepared so that if a particular uh, country is sending any uh, ship or something for any particular specific purpose then they should clearly know the route because it has already been surveyed that this particular route has to be followed which is free of the obstructions and if without preparation they will move across the ocean or the large water bodies then then there are severe chances of accidents and the splitting of the oil tanks and something like that which keeps on happening in the different parts of the world so i hope all of you might have clearly understood the basics of the hydrography the sounding methods we follow the shoreline survey we do and the importance of these uh, nautical charts and the nautical maps which we prepare for the purposes of uh, preparing these uh, uh, this survey work of the water bodies so thank you everyone and uh, 